Hello and welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter if you're celebrating. This is Mindy from Mindy's Crafts and Cash. And today I'm going to be doing um, Margaret, uh, Marguerite Miller's Challenge Week 14. So today I need something you see through a window, something with wheels, a map, something that uses electricity, something with a bit of orange, and bonus, a name. So I've gathered up a lot of stuff and let's get started. So I'm going to use the map as um, a background. So let's get that down. And this is a big book, this spiral, it's a nine by 12. And um, I started out doing it in a, doing two page spreads in a composition book, but I was having a lot of trouble with the middle part and I wasn't very happy with it. So this is, um, they say start out sort of with a scrapbook page, which this actually kind of just came from a book. So that pretty much was it. And then I'm going to, let's see, got all this goodies, all of these goodies here. Going to use this for my bit of orange. It's also a window. So I want to finish cutting her out. Something with wheels. So let's get this going. Just on a bicycle. Now it was from an advertisement, so I want to cover up the advertisement part. So I'll do that. I'm going to add another dog to the basket. So how are you and how is your day and how is your weekend going? I'm having my cousins over in a while. Uh, my cousin did her first diamond painting and needs a little help. So I'm going to help them with that since I do it all the time. Let's see, pulled out another little doggy to put in the basket. That covers the ad pretty well. And I just have to straighten him out so it doesn't look like he's hanging off the basket. So paste him in. Yesterday we had dinner with friends and then we played cards. So that was fun. I was winning right up till the end. The boyfriend was way behind. We played a game called um, Phase 10 and he won. We couldn't believe it. He was in fourth place. He was about four phases behind us, if you understand the game. So I wanted to tell you a very funny thing that happened the other day. We stopped in at a restaurant just to get dinner. You know, like lunch and dinner at three o'clock when you haven't really had lunch and you're kind of hungry and too early for dinner. Plus, you still can you still can get the lunch special. <laughs> so we stopped in, and I'm also going to use this. Now, for the past couple of years, once we sit a long time, I get very stiff, and it's a little bit hard for me to get up. So, the boyfriend, as I'm trying to get up, of course, to go to the bathroom, probably, keeps going, uh, uh, and it makes me crazy, and it makes me laugh. So, I finally got a way to make him stop it. I told him that if he says it again, I'm going to say in a very loud voice, how are your hemorrhoids doing, honey? Okay, so then I, <laughs> we were in the, the restaurant and I went to get up and I look at him because he's always making that sound and he just made the symbol where his lips are zipped. 
and I got hysterical. I, I said, oh good, I don't have to ask about your hemorrhoids. So the two of us are laughing so hard. I go to the bathroom and on my way, there's a woman sitting in a booth by herself. And she says, boy, you two look like you're having a lot of fun. And I stopped and told her exactly why. On the way out of the bathroom, because I knew he was going to go also after I got back, I said to her, ask him how his hemorrhoids are. So <laughs> when he walked by her to go into the bathroom, she said, how are your hemorrhoids? <laughs> I got hysterical. The lady got hysterical. And now I finally got him not to ask. <laughs> Not to ask me, not to grunt anymore when I get up. Ugh, ugh. So anyway, I guess you had to be there, but it was very funny at the time. The strange lady says to him as he walks by, how are your hemorrhoids? <laughs> uh. So that was the other day we were out doing errands and Actually, I'd gone to the post office. So I just want to tell you, for those of you who think it's not fair that I don't send to the international people, I sent out a letter with a card I had made and some ephemera and a couple of other things I had made to the international winner. And there was nobody online in the post office. So I said to the guy, I said, tell me, how much if I had sent a thin little book out to Wales instead of a letter? So he said, there is no book rate internationally. Um, it's uh, less expensive to uh, send a book uh, nationally. And he said, if you had just sent it in this flat envelope, he said it would have been um, $45. So that really would have been a big expense. Uh, talk among yourself because... I was asked to show the book that Robin Webb, who won the contest, uh, bought. I had given her a choice of several books by this publishing company. It's called Peter Pauper Press, and uh, she picked this one, Loads of Ephemera. It's all stickers in here. So this is the book that she had requested. And she received it already. She got it in one day, so that was good. Okay, next giveaway is at 500. I'm at 445. So that's what I will do next. Okay, so we got the lady on the bike. And I have another uh, something on wheels. I'm also putting this in. I love this truck with the sunflowers. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of washi tape down. This is for go, get out of here, for the road. This is road washi tape. I've used this quite a bit. It's really pretty cool. So we'll we'll get her on the road and we'll get that on the road. And then something you see from the window, I have this really cool thing. This was a Stamperia uh embellishment and i'm gonna put a, a bird because when i look out i see a lot of birds from my window and we'll put the bike on the road and we'll put the, the truck on the road And that is what I'm doing today. And then I am going to spend the evening and I am going to work on some more masterboards. I decided I really, really enjoy doing them. So I had bought a new book similar to this, a little bit smaller, a lot smaller actually. It's like eight and a half by 11. And I'm gonna make it a book of masterboards. And you can either leave them in as a decoration or you can use them when you wanna cut them up for something. Okay, we had the bird fly away too. 
I may have to put, oh, here it is. I may have to put the dog. Oh, that's kind of cute. But we'll do the bird. I've mentioned it on my channel before, but I know there are some new subscribers and I live on a canal and sometimes I can see adders playing outside. That's a lot of fun. Okay, now they're gonna be using the mixer. You had to uh, do something that uses electricity. So I'll put that right here. Okay, now this is kind of funny. When I was going through one of my books, I passed by this page. And then one of my subscribers, Robin Goff, said in the comments that I could have used this Versace for the V page in the ABC book. So I went back to the recycle, I pulled it out, I cut it up. And then when I went into the ABC book, I already had used Versace. So it went back in the recycle. And then I realized just this morning that one of the things was a name. I said, I'm gonna use my Versace. So we'll get that going there. So see Robin, I used it after all. Okay, and the last thing is some place I have to stick this. So I think I'll just put it up here with some washi tape. And since I have orange here, I'll use this little one. And I have to start reprinting these because I didn't realize I had my um, printer set to double-sided. So I have a couple more on this side of the page and then but you have to cut them out, so I have to take care of that. Okay, so let's go through everything. Oh, we didn't, honey, what you, well, you were gonna ride away. We gotta get you on here. Okay, here we go. Let's put this away. Oh, I have one more map. Let's see if I can fit it somewhere. Yeah, I think there's enough on here. Okay, so here we go. Something you see through a window. So I put this here. You see the outside, the water, the bird, which is what I see. Something with wheels, we have the bike and the truck, uh, a map that's in the background, something that uses electricity, the mixer, uh, something with a bit of orange, we got the couch, and the bonus is Versace. Okay, that's today's video. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday if you're celebrating, and I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.